I'm going to get through this show with all these wonderful messages, but I am so grateful. I love all my colleagues over at King, and I'm so glad to be here. And I have to say, one of the greatest things about the holiday season is holiday cookies, and my kids love it. They squeal with delight when it comes to decorating the cookies. So I decided this year I needed a little help with frosting. How about a frosting lesson from the master? So, of course, we called on Jenny Keller of Jenny Cookies. Hi, Jenny. Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing great this morning. It's a great day. But I have to say, Jenny, I'm looking at these cookies. Let's be real. Can I really do this? <laughs> you, you have to yes. give me some, some, some tips and tricks because I don't think I've ever been able to do anything quite this creative. Today is your day. I have a no fail recipe, simple trips, tip. Oh, I can't even talk this morning. I haven't had my cookie yet. <laughs> simple tips and tricks to make sure everybody makes successful sugar cookies this season. And I know we've sent you with cookies and buttercream icing. Yes, you so sent me the supplies. Get started. Okay. I'm gonna tell you my first tip. When you grab your icing bag, okay. you want to squeeze down any icing right here and then twist your bag and you're gonna hold it in your dominant hand. So if you're left-handed, you're on this side. If you're right, it's in the palm. Oh, and then you're going to squeeze with the palm. Okay. You're not going to do this. This is what a lot of people do when they come to my classes. Okay, this that's is what I was just doing. not the way to have successful, beautiful cookies. Okay. So we're going to get our, our icing bag ready. I'm going to do, I think I'll start with the green. Okay. And I've got a round decorating tip on mine. I don't know which one you have. I have round. Is it like a little circle? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, and we're gonna take our cookie, and I always start by outlining the edge of the cookie. It just gives it a more clean, finished okay. look. And then with your other hand, you're gonna just guide, guide. The, the icing bag. So okay. I'm gonna start by just outlining my cookie. All right. And you can go, now you can do the full sweater, you could do just like the chest of the sweater, and we could do a different color arm. Um, we're decorating ugly Christmas sweaters. So you truly cannot mess up these cookies because even if they're ugly, they're going to be the cutest ever. Well, that's so I've got perfect. my outline. Are we together on this yet? I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Well, it's, you know, it's, okay. it's okay. like you're a misshapen right. ugly sweater already, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're getting there. No, you're doing perfect. And then now we're just going to go back and forth. Okay. And this one's sometimes hard to do while you're talking. So if you I'm just going talk, back and forth for with the, oh, this is, this is beautiful. I am, I, Jenny, you better hire me quick. Hey, we're hiring at the Cookie Squad. <laughs> we just opened a new location at Alderwood Mall, and we've had to bring on all sorts of new cookie decorators and cookie lovers to sell all the treats at Alderwood. Yeah, so Jenny, I was, have... I was going to ask you about that. So despite everything that's going on, you managed to open a store? You've been busy. I think it might be the greatest COVID comeback of all time. <laughs> Absolutely. And we took a huge risk and we said, we're going to sign a lease at the Alderwood Mall for the next two months, spread some cookie joy all over the Alderwood Mall and surrounding areas. And it's been very well received. We've been open for a week. We've had a line all the way down the street from, I don't know if you know the Alderwood Mall, but we're on the corner where David's Tea used to be right across from Pottery Barn and William Sonoma. Mm -hmm. And our line goes all the way to Nordstrom. So that's how many people Stop are when you are finished. happiness and joy and buttercream this holiday season. Good for you. I'm so happy to hear that. And yes, I know the Alderwood Mall a little bit too well. Um, yeah. I'm so delighted to hear that. Um, that's wonderful news. Uh, really quickly, okay, I've got my sweater. Am I going to use any other colors right now? I think you can. I'm going to add a little decorative, just a collar here and okay. a waistband. So I'm going to do the pink on there. Y'all don't want to see this And this one is a yet, star tip. And star tips are super forgiving. So if you're terrible at cookie decorating, grab a star tip because it creates texture on your cookie. Oh. And then you can also just dot things on here. Like it'll make little little stars all over. I'm telling you, the uglier, the better. Oh, that's well, that's good news. Hey, last year, by the way, you launched something called the Big Cookie Give, where you gave away cookies to deserving people. Yes. Tell me about the power of cookies, if you will. We started the Big Cookie Give just to spread joy around the community with people that had done something deserving. It didn't have to be something huge. It could have been there was a gal that was nominated that was just kind that worked at the Hagen Deli Department. And a customer said, this woman smiles at me and takes time with me while I order my chicken strips, you know, or yeah. we went to the the... Uh, the Senior Center in Lake Stevens. I mean, the seniors are often forgotten and we brought them cookies. They smiled, they laughed. We taught them how to do a boomerang on Instagram. It was one of my favorite days. And then it just blew up. 
And so I was on my book tour last year for my new cookie class cookbook. And we took the big cookie give 30,000 feet in the air. We gave away cookies on Alaska Airlines flights. So imagine the excitement while you're flying and you get a beautiful cookie handed to you. We went to New York. We went to Tennessee. We went to Utah, California, Arizona, literally everywhere spreading just cookie happiness. <laughs> I love that. And that seems like something that any of us can do, right? Anybody can do it. And that's what the whole thing was, because we have an audience, you know, all over literally the world. And we were sharing these little tidbits on social media. And we were saying, you guys, look outside your own life and give a cookie to somebody else. You know, it doesn't take much. It doesn't even have to be a cookie. But if you can find something to drop off at a neighbor's door or give to your mailman or appreciate a teacher or a nurse or a policeman, anybody. anything like that, it just brightens somebody's day. And so this is just snowballed with us we can never let the big cookie give go we do a monday night live on facebook and instagram every week where we show new recipes and we always encourage people to bake along with us and then share with somebody else well can't and wait been, to see that it's been so much fun jenny thank you so much i'm not sure if anyone would be delighted by this but this was so fun to make with you <laughs> you did so good great job thank you, you. Are great and um by the way we'll be right back